Hi everyone, it's the Olympics. Let's say that A, B, and C run in a race. Find the number of possible orders of finish, assuming no ties. So in particular, how many ways are there for fate to assign a gold medal, that is for first place, a silver medal, that is for second place, and a bronze medal, that is for third place? How many ways can fate assign these medals to the three runners? Well, how many possibilities are there for the gold medal winner? The gold medal winner could be A, B, or C. There are three possibilities. Regardless of who comes in first and wins the gold, how many possibilities are there for second place? Well, regardless of who wins, there are two possibilities for second place. And then once we know the first two winners, we know that the bronze winner is forced. It's the last person. Here, everyone gets a medal. Here's a possibility tree. There are three possibilities for first place. And regardless of who comes in first, there are two possibilities for second place. And regardless of who comes in first and second, third place is forced, is the remaining person. So how many possible full permutations or orderings are there for these three runners? How many possible sequences are there where we cannot repeat? Well, we have ABC, ACB, and so forth. There are six possible paths here, corresponding to six possible sequences or full permutations, where we order all three runners. How can we calculate that there are six possible sequences, six possible full permutations? Well, again, there are three possibilities for first place or gold. There were two possibilities for second place or silver, and there was one possibility for bronze once we knew the first two. So three times two times one is six. There's a name for three times two times one. From your algebra class, this is three, what's that? That's three factorial. Three factorial. It's not yelling the number three. <laughs> it's three factorial. We take the integers from three down to one and we multiply them together. Three factorial is six. Let's say that you have a deck of 52 cards. How many ways are there to order a deck of 52 cards? We're looking for the number of full permutations from the first card to the last card. Well, how many possibilities are there for the first card? There are 52 possibilities. Whatever that first card is, leave that card out, how many possibilities are left for the second card? 51. This is like the ace, king, king problem, sort of. Keep on going, and then at the very end, the final card is forced. So the number of full permutations of the 52 card deck of cards is 52 times 51 times da 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 times one, also known as 52 what? 52 factorial. 52 times 51 times 50 times da 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 times two times one, we get 52 factorial. On your calculator, you should see an N factorial button, or if you have a TI calculator, it might be in the PRB menu. What is 52 factorial? It's very large. You need scientific notation. It's about 8 times 10 to the 67th. In fact, it's a bit more than 8 followed by 67 digits, like 67 zeros. <laughs> this is literally astronomical. In fact, if you consider the number of seconds since the Big Bang, when the universe began, you would think that's huge. It's literally astronomical. But it's only about 4 times 10 to the 17th, about a 4 with 17 digits after it. This number here dwarfs this number over here. This is way bigger than this number over here. Now, what is the total number of atoms in the universe. That's more like 10 to the 80th, 
this is more in this ballpark over here. We're talking about literally astronomical numbers.